Hey guys, I'm a big fan of the Back to the Future films, and the movies do such a great job of exploring every little detail, covering up every little plot hole, except for there are a few things that just don't add up, and I think that Doc Brown might have made some miscalculations when attempting to return Marty back from 1955 into the future, which was 1985 at the time. Marty McFly was stuck in 1955. His only chance of returning to his own time in 1985 was when the Hill Valley Courthouse's clock tower was hit by lightning. That was known to happen at 10.04 p.m. on November 12, 1955. Doc Brown needed to transfer 1.21 gigawatts into the DeLorean's flux capacitor, and that had to happen while the machine was speeding by at 88 miles per hour. Very specific to make it occur correctly. That would send Marty back to the future. Of course, this all works out in the film despite a few dramatic hiccups with the car not starting correctly and Doc's cables coming undone. Lightning struck the tower at 10.04 p.m., but they never said anything about striking at exactly 10.04 p.m., like on the dot the second that the hand strikes that minute. Even in the film, there is a gap between when the clock clicked over and when the lightning struck. It's certainly a good point, as on Sunday, November 13th, the residents of Hill Valley will only have known that the lightning struck the clock tower at 10.04 p.m. because that's when the hand stopped. They don't know the exact second. There's no way they could have. No idea which of those 60 seconds in that minute the actual lightning struck and stopped the clock. Since only Doc and Marty were present on the street at that time on November 12th, no one would have seen it. There was nobody else around to account for the exact moment that it happened in the original timeline. Adding to this problem of guessing when lightning would strike within a full minute, Marty missed Doc's calculated start time to reach 88 miles per hour and pass the clock tower at the exact moment the lightning struck, which is what scientists didn't know anyways. So if anything, it's complete chance that Marty managed to pass at just the right time and be sent back to the future, given that he had a delayed start in his vehicle, and DeLorean, right before Marty had to start accelerating, the engine dies and refuses to start until after Marty was supposed to go. Right there, we already see things are going awry. And of course, everything works out as Marty is sent back to the future. Imagine a scenario where the engine did not die, however. Marty would have hit the gas when the clock went off, therefore arriving to the clock tower early, and he would have missed his window entirely. Now one thing we do see is that the wires are still kind of sparking a few minutes after Marty is gone. It seems likely that Doc accounted for some error in timing or wattage by having somewhere to store the charge if Marty was a bit late. This wouldn't account for Marty being early though, which is why the hook was springy to have the longest contact with the wire possible when Marty drove by. They make it seem so precise, but in reality any good scientist would have accounted for slight errors. And despite all of that, they pulled off, and it's a miracle that they do. It should not have happened. Maybe this is just too critical of a look at things, but it just seems very unlikely that Marty should have ever made it back to the future. The odds of him hitting right when the lightning struck, um, after having a delay in the car starting, and all these other factors, and having no clue at what point in that 60 second window, which is a long time um, for a very specific action to do it, it's just crazy. But let me know what you think, my friends. If you enjoy this video, would like to see more like it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It's always good to talk to you. I will talk to you again. And as always, my friends, adios amigos. Famous, famous, famous. Not famous.